Hey guys! Welcome back to Legend of Dragoon. Last episode, we took on the job of professional dog trainer. And we didn't get paid for it. Seriously, this is going to the courts. But apart from that, we're gonna move forward to the new big city in the game. Yeah, I can't recall the name of it now? Yeah, I will soon. Let's do it. I just know I really like this city. It might be my... As cities go, as big cities in the game go, my third favorite city? Okay, for some reason the recording cut out. <laughs> but Muru and Rose both went off on other business. I don't know where <laughs> they went. Uh, I guess we'll find out later. That's basically what happened. They went off just to do something. Eh. We'll see how. <laughs> we'll see why, I guess. We'll have to see why. They're part of the party. They're part of the game. So all you misses some dialogue and yeah, you know what happened. It's a bit weird. Denigra. That's what it is. It's cold, cold. I'm from Tiboria, and this cold weather's too harsh for me. Cold, 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 cold. Where's the nearest Starbucks? I need a frappuccino latte ASAP. I was just married the other day, and I'm happy as a lark. I'm so happy now. Good to know. We were married and blessed by Bishop Dill Pickle. And I'm back. When I saw Dill, I had to see Dill Pickle. Sorry. Mm, item shop. I don't usually need items. This I need. Tomahawk, I'll take that. It'll improve his attack by a lot, actually. Ooh, wow. 17 points. Diamond Claw? That's a... That's a... That's better? Hachelle's definitely in a better position now. Look at that, more attack. And... More defense? More magic defense? Oh, yeah. This is all about Hachelle. <laughs> Do you like books too? Then go to the city's national library. You can find any book there. Mm. I I like books. You should really take care of those books though, overdue finds. Hello. It's a warm day today. The sun is Okay, the sun is out, so it's warm. I get it. Recently, the evergreen forest has become a nest of monsters. The animals in the forest have turned into monsters. Yes, uh, if you saw the last episode, you know very well that's true. We are not warriors. It's too dangerous to go through the evergreen forest. It is dangerous out there. Yes. That is much that that is true, very true. The sea dragon Elizabeth is gone, but we still cannot go through the evergreen forest. There's always obstacles. Always. This way? Oh, this is Bill Bishop Dill Pickle. 
is said that the divine tree that lives in our heart and the last fruit has been protected by a great security security service. They're always on time when anyone comes to try to rob the place. I know where I'm going there. From the evil uh, bandits. <laughs> the legend goes, when the signet is broken, the end of the world approaches. I don't know what a signet is. I have zero idea what a signet is. Just like the last fruit, we humans are one of the fruits given life by the divine tree. Is the divine tree real though? Eh, I, I guess, maybe? For end of the world to be a mere legend, we must remove evil from our hearts and live in honesty it is our mission as children of the divine tree oh like end oh it's like those end times preachers kind of idea where in order to avoid the end can you avoid the end times hypothetically all right not that i believe in the end times i'm not really a religious person so yeah But I get sort of what he's going at. That we can avoid it by not being by not having evil in our hearts. A divine tree? I've never heard of it. Mm, neither have you guys. I've heard of it, but that's just because I've played it before. I've heard of it. <laughs> not much more than that. I haven't been there. No. It's expensive. Travel is expensive. You can't always go everywhere in the world you want to travel to. I'd like to travel to see the divine tree, but you know. It is what it is. We still don't know what the objectives are for Lloyd. Any, inf any information could be helpful. Oh, you must be travelers. Welcome to Deningrad. I call it Denigrad. It's Deningrad. Like, my name is Bishop Dillpickle. I serve the divine tree. And the last fruit. And the first fruit. I like all the fruits. My diet is completely composed of fruits. I'm Dart. I like I like I like to draw. I like long walks on the beach. Um, this is drawing a divine tree. It's more of a carving or something. It is the divine tree. But just this is just what we imagine it. What we imagine. Nobody has seen the real tree. I bet somebody has. You know, th there ought to be somebody who has seen the divine tree. Nonetheless, we believe in the divine tree. It is the source of life and harmony. Would you like to know more about the divine tree? I would actually. I just know about the name, the divine tree. tree is the tree of life. All life comes from this divine tree. In the beginning, nothingness filled the world. Then the creator saw descended from the sky.
and his followers created the world. In the end, Soa sowed a seed on the earth. The seed soon grew to be a great tree. The great tree bore 108 fruits, and various life forms arose from the ripened fruits. Thus, 108 forms of life were created to fill the world. Divine tree completed its role, but the story says it is still protected by the signet of Soa. Whoa, that was fascinating. It really was. Also, good. Really good CGI for 1999. It is like this. The world was established. One seed. God's tree, sown by Soa, is the divine tree. What does Soa look like? Do you have a realistic depiction of what Soa looks like? If you would like to find what, find out more about this. You can go to the National Library. And who are Soa's followers, right? I'd like to know more about Soa. Okay, we can go to the National Library. Is that the Milisesu National Library? So, uh, I guess we're going to the library today? Have you, what's the last time you guys have been to a library? I'm curious to know. Libraries are good, you know? They're very good, and they are important, I think. Yeah, let me know in the comments, you know? What's the last time you've been to a library? And do you like libraries? I haven't been to one in a while, but I do a lot of reading. No, I cannot. The treasure of knowledge is shining and calling me. Albert loves libraries. Al, Albert, are you okay? He goes off. Uh, he zones out <laughs> with things like libraries. Let's go. Check this place out. Lib oh, there's a lot. Oh, librarian Oot. Oot. Who are you people? Do you realize that you are? I don't know what what voice I'm using. Do you realize that you are not? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so what do you want? You have interrupted my ceremony for no reason. We have a reason. I don't like stubborn old guys because I want to be an adorable old guy. You are adorable, Shell. We all love you. We've loved you since the s when we met you. Please wait. We were told by Bishop Dill Pickle that there is a wonderful library here. If you want, you can just go to the library. Yes. We can. But I checked. And it was closed. Oh, wait. I locked the door when I left. So could you open the door? <sighs> yeah, I checked earlier. Yeah. It was closed. <laughs> I would love the opportunity to touch such 
treasures of intelligence. So treasures of the intelligence community. Yeah. So please, go the government, don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that, gov government. I'm not doing anything wrong. I don't want to take any of your uh, secret information. I'll let you in. Yay, we're breaking into the CIA. He's such a hotty old guy. This shell is... I can tell they're not going to get along very well. That shell is the opposite of... You know. You know, whatever, uh... Whatever the li whatever librarian oot is. Don't say that. I like that. Bishop Dill Pickle and Librarian Oot. Better if I say Oot. <laughs> we have to do whatever we can until until Lloyd shows up. We have a we have a date with him. It's true. He's he used a dragon, and a dra and a dragon studio. Tiboria, oh yeah, Tiboria, Tiboria. He uh, the corporation of a wingly. I don't know what he will do here. Here, the library must be in this particular direction. You're not a library. I came to the city to see the National Library. I heard about it. But it really did have an unbelievable number of books. We came from Sergio, but we never imagined that it would be this dangerous of a journey. We came from Sergio too! It was such a dangerous journey, but those two are so optimistic. I envy them. Not everyone is an optimist, and that's okay. We came from Sergio to see the Crystal Palace. Ooh, we haven't seen the Crystal Palace yet. I heard it from people, but it was really beautiful. Seen the Crystal Palace, but have you seen the Divine Tree? I have. I took pictures of it. Honey, it's a nice day today. Honey, let's have a cup of tea together. Young people like you can't imagine how wonderful a quiet life with me and my wife. I am having the time of my life with my wife. What is this place? We're here! This looks like a library to me! This is incredible! It is pretty. So many levels of books. And think about it, libraries are in every town in this game. So, libraries are special places. This is the source of knowledge of endiness. Go look for anything you want. But be quiet, use your library voice. The entire wall is filled with books. 
Library voice, remember? <laughs> or else I'll slap you with a stick. A big stick. Maybe we should find out something about virages and the moon that never sets. Doesn't looking at these all the time have an effect on you? Looking at books does have an effect on you. It made me wise. Hachelle's not really a book learning kind of person, as you can see. Congo feels dizzy. Gigantos lose to books. That is the biggest weakness of Gigantos now. We know that. When you're facing against a Gigantos, you come into an alley, a dark alley, and a Gigantos is faced against you. Have a book ready prepared. Make him read that book, and they will run away scared. <laughs> and they won't bother you ever again. We can say the Serdine War was started from the Dragoon Spirit. That was brought by Lloyd. Let's split up and look. Let's do it. I guess I have to use my brain for the first time in a long time. He mostly just uses heart and his fist. Can Kunkel read human words? Probably not. Most likely not. I can't imagine he would. If Rose were here, she would tell us a lot. I have no doubt about it because, as we've seen, she was there. She was there 11,000 years ago. She was one of the original dragoons. They will be back when they finish with th whatever they're doing. I guess let's talk to Kongle first. I'm trying to read human words. It is about the Winglies, you guess? Kongle cannot read human characters. Kongle looks pictures. Let me read. Winglies are people with wings of light who employ magical power. Hmm. Is, do you think Lloyd is a wingly? I think he's a wingly. They had their glory 11,000 years ago. They had, an, they had enormous magical power and they could float colossal cities. City floats? Yes. Root beer floats. I can't think of any other kind of float. Oh, parade floats. They had a lot of parade floats. They're very well known for that. As... Yes, it is unimaginable in the current world. They became extinct after a war with humans. Who were seeking their liberation. Because the Winglies, you know, basically, use humans as slaves. But Lennis, who was a wi was a Wingly, who was a was alive. Besides, us dragoons are supposed to be only le only a legend. That's true. And dragons are not just mere legend either. Virages are not me a legend. You know what that means? I'm gonna find a unicorn in this game. I'm gonna find a unicorn in this game and name him Gary. Just mark my words. Let's look at this picture. Humans and dragoon and dragons? No. Dragoons and dragoons. Dragoons and dragoons upon dragoons. All together. Party. Getting uh, yeah. Getting drunk off dragoon spirits. 
That's cool, Congo. Want to see? Shona, did you find out something? This book is talking about the divine moon objects, but they are just divine objects. Hmm. So we might find out, we might find out something, if we find out something. <laughs> <laughs> from the le from a legend to begin with. Yeah, we're we want to find out about the drag the divine dragoon moon objects. They're not for dragoons to use actually. The divine moon objects. We want to find out what they do. Why does Lloyd want them? Okay, let me read the part I found. Please tell me something. After the Dragon Campaign, humans controlled the content of Endiness and divided the continent into four equally powerful establishments. So there are three new countries. To east, to the east, Sergio. To the south, Tiboria. To the north, Milisesu. And to the west of the continent, and on the untouched land. That means no one has touched it. I'm gonna touch the untouched land. If I touch it, it will be you'll become the touched land. We humans have been to the untouched land. Therefore, it is now officially the touched land. People could touch it all they want now. Each country shared three divine moon objects. They traded it around, you know. Inherited from the Winglies as proof of their alliance. The divine moon objects are said to conceal magical power, but their usage is unknown. So they are important. Usage is unknown. Hmm. His mystery must be hidden there. I will look into it more. This book talks about the dragoons. Can you read human words? Because you're not into reading much. The dragoons from legend? Like Rose. Yes, the heroes of the dragon campaign. Ooh. Okay. That is the topic of today's lecture, the dragon campaign. Uh, no, I'm, there's no lecture in this walkthrough, trust me. No lecture, I'm not gonna lecture you guys. According to this, we are going. We are the first new dragoons to come along since that time. However, I am going to leave you with a lot of homework, and I hope you're taking notes because you will be tested. Um, next, <laughs> next video. Actually, there's no test, but there is a pop quiz. I will just all of a sudden give you a pop quiz, and uh, it's going to be. Um, this it's gonna be quite a lot of your grade so good luck <laughs> dragoons are to be called when history requires them when history requires them is that now apparently or else we wouldn't be dragoons you know it's not just just for the heck of it just for the heck of it you know here's some new dragoons let's see what they do <laughs> That reminds me of what Soa might do, that it's like, hey, let's go make some new dragoons just for nothing, and we'll see what they do. No. <laughs> let's see what they do, just for no reason in particular. Uh, just to mess everything up, because it's fun. But uh, yeah, those all, you know, those like Lennis and such. Is that part of the plan? Yeah. 
I guess so. That is what? Only history can tell. I, of course, don't know. However, it all started out from that dragoon spirit that Lloyd brought. Hmm, that's true. What would we do without Albert? I mean, with Lavitz, would we actually be here right now? That's a good question. Will we get this done without if Lavitz was alive? If you don't know who Lavitz is, check out my earlier stuff. In spite of the fact that they were humans, the seven heroes who led the dragon campaign victory 11,000 years ago crossed the sky and cast spells after they fulfilled their roles. Hmm. They vanished with the dragon spirits as if it all were some unavoidable fate. Oh, I, re I remember that scene when Rose had that thing with Dart. And he was like... Zeke? They were, it seemed they were all dying. Like, it seemed all the dragoons were dying one way or another. And only Rose came out on t alive. So maybe that's why they vanished. You know? Maybe it's not fate. I don't want these guys to vanish. I don't want to vanish myself. Legend seem... You know, it's not like they were... Snapped away. By snapped away, I mean like... You know, like Avengers Endgame. This is a marvelous place. I'm reading a book on politics now. This is very... Can you do politics after you take care of Lloyd? If you want to watch CNN, you could do that. But I know you like to watch CNN <laughs> in between episodes, I know, but that's not how it works. Would it be called CNN? in this uh, world. Do they even have TVs? I don't think they have TVs. Which is a shame. They don't have any screens to look at. We have screens we could look at. According to this, dragons are the second most powerful species in all 107. But how are we able to control them? Creatures given life by the divine tree, their attacks, and life power overwhelm others. But why? But why are they controlled by humans? <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Why do they need to be controlled by humans? However, the creator so created balance by reducing the dragon's intelligence. Oh, I see. Balancing. Like, you know. Like game developers do. Balancing. You know, something's too OP. They balance it out. Therefore, they were to they were to be controlled by humans with their wisdom. During the dragon campaign, eleven thousand years ago, they had fierce battles against virages manipulated by winglies. So okay, winglies were manipulated. So who manipulated the winglies that uh, went after Sean? But they weren't annihilated like the book says. Yeah, like I said earlier. They're not just legend. True. And again, they are ruled by dragoons. Yeah. You gotta talk to the librarian as well. Fortunately or unfortunately. Hmm. Hmm. It led to the dragon campaign. 
Okay, we're gonna talk to that haughty librarian. That hot librarian. Mm -hmm. Don't we all love hot librarians? You know. Of course, everything is done with a library voice, but you know, they could still be hot. Hmm. Yeah, I saw that. Hey, uh, what are you saying hmm about? Is it mac and cheese you're saying hmm? Hmm, mac and cheese. What do you need? Are you acting superior again? I don't like, I don't like old guys who act superior because I want to be the cute one. I want to be adorable. I want to be your favorite, um, your favorite anime character. Of course. I am superior. I am the villain of this anime. No, he's not. He's not a villain. At least I don't think he's a villain. I prefer being a hit with the girls over feeling superior. Heshel would do so well in an anime. He would do so well. He's perfect con comedic relief. You know, for serious characters. I don't care about those things. He does need to be hit with the girls. <laughs> it seems you are interested in the dragon campaign. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Veggies. Winglies. Do Winglies like veggies? Winglies like love their vegetables, probably. Winglies, divine moon objects, dragons, dragoons. Oh, we, they all, these all had something to do with with the dragon campaign. We know that. Didn't Lloyd has something to do with the dragon campaign? Was he around back then? Was Lloyd around way back then? Like, where does Lloyd come from? I want to know more about his background. The dragon campaign is my specialty. It's my speciality. Maybe I can be of assistance. We're in luck. But I mean, I prefer Rose to be here. She'd know all about the dragon campaign. We only know fragments. I see. We're very interested in that. This is the legend of the dragon campaign that I know. Are we gonna get another of the... Yes! Cool. I love these things! There were seven dragoon warriors in the legend of the dragon campaign. Dragoons, reputed to be the incarnation of dragons. With dragons at their side, the Dragoons fought boldly. However, in the age when the legend was reality, the Winglies dominated all, even the gods. The gods answered to dictator Melbu Fama's prayers and granted him ultimate power. But the power was abused. The earth of Saint Imperial Gloriano was scorched by the god's fire and became ashen. The anger and sadness of the people was fuel for the Dragoon's cause. And at last they freed the gods. Without the god's power, the Winglies perished, and our age, the Human Age, began. Thereafter, the gods floated in the sky. For 11,000 years, they have been looking over the world as the moon that never sets.
Ooh, the moon that never sets again. This is crazy. That is the story. Did you find out something related to Lloyd? Oh well, that's unfortunate. You were already here, so you might as well check out the kids section. You know, kids books. Like How to Train Your Dragon. The reference room upstairs. I thought there was, there was a kids section too, probably. The wingly that the wingly that could. No, it contains historical material for Melee Seisu for okay, for other people. It may seem to be mere trash. However, for our country, they are historical objects. Alright. This is something left by the Black Monster that brought an inferno down on this country. I would really love for Rose to be here right now. To, you know, She seems to know something about the Black Monster. So, uh... I would love to hear her perspective on this. The black monster? I, I can imagine Rose would be like... <laughs> uh, it's like, that's not how it was. <laughs> you have it all wrong? It has been 18 years. It's surprising a young man like you knows about it. Oh, but that's where he's wrong. Dart has had an experience with the black monster for sure. I was born in Neat. That's where he was born. And then uh, it was the uh, other town where he met Shauna. God, you are a survivor of the village? From the village? Yes. Guys, I think, I think I should end the episode here, because I don't know how long this is going to cut down to. Please hit that like button, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, or even hit that bell icon to join the notification squad. I truly appreciate all the support. Bye, guys.